So we're here at Nerd HQ at San Diego Comic-Con shooting special content for YouTube Geek Week. And I'm here with David Steinberger, the uh, co-founder and CEO of Comixology. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, you know, everything in the world is going digital. Yeah. Uh, but you know, the, the thing I hear the most from comic book readers is they're like, I'm afraid, I like to hold the comic. What's the number one thing that you have people say when they convert? Ah, uh, that they don't have to have boxes of comic books all over their house. <laughs> That we never run out of stock or issues. Oh, that the colors on the HD uh, iPads, like the Retina iPads, just really pop. The amount of detail in the artwork you can see. That's just so convenient. And also, you've just started subscriptions. Yeah, that's right. right. We added subscriptions. So now you can, on our website at comicsology.com, sign up for a subscription for your favorite book. And then we email you to tell you it's ready for download, ready to go. And I was really fascinated to see that your number one most popular subscription, at least off, off the bat, is Hawkeye. Yeah, I think it still is, actually. Wow. Really fascinating. Well, yeah, because that that's, a, that's a popular book, but yeah. it's not the most popular in terms of like hard copies. That's right. So do you find that there's a difference in the kind of person who reads digital comics? Yeah, what's interesting is I think that uh, I think in print we have a lot of people that have been doing it, reading it for a long time, and they're very, very connected to the traditional Marvel and DC books, and so they oh. have to get them no matter what, the X books and New the Batman and the right? Superman books. On digital, I think we get many more people getting into comics for the first time, and so it's really about what's the best storytelling going on right now. Hawkeye, Saga is really, really high up on our oh, top wow. ten How about list. Daredevil, Mark Wade's Daredevil. Daredevil's huge. That's a great book. Huge, yeah. yeah. So I don't want to say they're more discerning, but I think they connect uh, in a new way. And, and frankly, it's not about collecting; it's about storytelling, That's right? It's really about reading. So they're not buying for you know loyalty. Yeah. That's they're right. buying just for the story. They're not going to resell it at some great value later, and so they don't have to feel like they need to have a complete collection of whatever X book or, or like I said, Batman. And also something else I think is fascinating, well, you know, with Amazon, they made big headlines when they started doing their own self-publishing. Yeah. Where people could just come on and publish a book. Yeah. And there's some huge superstars that came out of that. And now you're starting a self-publishing through Comixology. Yeah, yeah, we have this program called Submit. Uh, so it's submit.comixology.com. We have uh, 150 series already up by people who have submitted wow. to us through the site. Uh, Becky Cloonan's, I think, our biggest star that has done some That's stuff. She's one of her books so is you're actually name talent too. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. People who don't have the opportunity to, to do it uh, through a publisher or or have chosen not to. I mean, I think Becky Cloonan probably wouldn't have trouble finding a publisher. But you know, her book's up for an Eisner tomorrow night uh, at Comic Con. Yeah, one of the books That's sold for us. Yeah. So when you come to Comic Con, what do you hope? What do you what are you preaching about digital comics? Uh, that mm. it's a great shopping experience and a great reading experience. I think what, what Comixology did right, what we've done right, is that we really focus on the reading experience and making sure you can you know, start a book on your iPad, pick it up on your Android phone, it knows exactly where you are in the book, it goes into the guided view so it's easy to read on a small device, just really taking care of the reader. Well, the last thing I want to ask you is, you know, you're a little bit like the Netflix of the comic book industry, you know, I mean, like, you have some competitors, but you really define the, air, mm -hmm. the space, and you're a trendsetter. You know, is it just because you were first in, or? No, we weren't first in. I just think that, that I just think that the the unending passion of, of of the employees of my company to make the best comic book experience possible is is why that works. And so we continue to add features that are great for readers. We continue to add better ways to shop. Uh, I, I I really believe. I mean, we have a lot of amazing content. We have forty thousand books. We've got all the Marvel, wow. all the DC, every, you know, just about everybody on there. And so I think that makes a big difference too. But so now, not being able to find a comic book store is not a reason not to read comics. That's right. It's like right? a newsstand of the uh, 21st century. <laughs>